promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hey, 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 right, what's no going on? What's going on? How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Good. How are you guys how are going? So welcome, welcome. That the, the, the intro was playing that <laughs> I had forgotten to remove the guests before we started, so I had to remove <laughs> them real quick so we could bring them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. It's all learning process, learning process, yep. people. All right. So we're going to have our first guest, and we want to welcome Pete with the Heist and Turp Brothers. And let's go ahead and bring him on, guys. Rock and roll. Hey, hey. Pete, welcome. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for having me. What's up? What's yeah. up? Uh, sure, man. You with us? This is the first time we've had a guest or anything yeah. else. So, yeah, uh, yeah. First well, guest ever. We're all Appreciate learning it. here. So yeah. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Thank you. So Thank you for had, having me. Had went to a uh, they had like a little meetup last night. Yeah, we had a little cultivator meetup um, yeah. over in DeKalb, Illinois, and uh, it was at the Little Bean Grown Shop. Shout out to Little Bean, Charlie, and uh, shout out to Support Dope People, Life of Guapo, Aaron. He, uh, they hosted it, and Ryan from uh, RF Canna uh, and a couple of local growers got together, and we just you know shoot the shit, smoke some buds. You know, showing up everybody's buds it was a good time. Yeah, so, yeah, what kind of flower cool were you seeing with uh, those people that you were hanging out with? Um, so, yeah, uh, I saw a couple strains. You know, Aaron had his uh, glitters, I believe it was, and it, it was fire. It was looking real good. Uh, Ryan from RF Canna, he had some couple buds of his. They were all looking fire, man. Everything was fire. Everybody had some fire weed. You know, everybody is bringing their A game. Yeah, that's awesome to see. <laughs> so y'all just yeah, all go up there and like it. roll like one that. up and right. pass it around and everybody just like show you know that's what y'all do y'all just yeah when out. i got there you know everybody was uh you know dabbing uh getting their dab rigs going uh yeah, everybody was okay. rolling up i came prepared i had three rolled up already uh, i did bring some uh you know some dabbers just in case but uh charlie was hooking it up for me so shout out to charlie for that dab and uh yeah we were just you know smoking outside and uh when I went out there, it was like three of uh, four of us or something. There was like a three, four, like joint rotation and it was just never ending. So, uh, you know, it's tough to kind of like, you know, gauge and see the taste and the terps and, and feel everybody, how the effects are, you know, when you're passing so many joints. But yeah, dude, yeah, you, you yeah, can't hate, you know, you four, got four, four deep, joints going you know at saying? once. <laughs> yeah. Four it's joint all good. Deep, ten dab deep, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to distinguish what terps are hitting you know what I'm saying? right yeah, right i always wonder how, how the hell they they do that man you, after the first uh, few you're like shit you kind of lose the effect yeah, yeah. Not, i mean you're not even judging it on how you get stoned <laughs> yeah. because that's how you start out you know yeah, it's, I yeah. Mean, you, you start out with a dab it's kind of already you're already gone you know yeah so yeah, right. you yeah. can yeah. only There's judge by else. the terp yeah right <laughs> mm-hmm but yeah. I do I do recognize that you get that turp profile way better with the dabs than you know the flower. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not too much of a dabber. I'm more of a flower guy, but when I do dab, yeah, you definitely feel it. I'm a yeah. dabber fucking through and through. But lately I've been hitting a lot more flower. So I guess right. I'm I'm on both sides. A oh, grandma yeah. lasts me like a month and a half because I just touch a little bit or whatever because I get wasted doing that. <laughs> oh dabbing? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, I, I've, I've been pressing some flour lately, but uh, I haven't got any real wash or anything like that. But man, just even my pressed flour, I've been I've been loving that you can just yeah. taste it so much more. 
Uh, yeah, just, you, know. you taste it much more, and it, yeah. you still taste that that plant matter and whatnot. I've noticed yeah. that uh, when uh, Four Twenty Things sent me his his <clears throat> fresh frozen, you taste nothing but terps, man. Yeah, yeah, you get any of that plant matter taste. And they actually just had a. We, I'm sorry, they actually just had an Illinois rosin competition about a month back or so, uh, <laughs> first of its kind. It was pretty dope. So they had a lot of uh, terpy uh, dabs out there. Yeah. Nice. You just go from one dab rig to another and yeah. taste all of it. <laughs> That's basically what it was. Yeah. Vendor from vendor. They were just like, yo, you want a dab? I was like, yeah, for sure. You want some of this micro dose? I was like, for sure. Yeah. I'll uh, take yeah, it yeah, all. Yeah, Whatever yeah, you're dude. giving me. Yeah, I'm yeah. here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what do you think I'm here for, sir? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm standing right in front of you right now. <laughs> what are you waiting on the offer? Right. Yeah. Tomorrow, too. They got a, they got another event, uh, Little Beans. Uh, birthday event um and they always got like the vendors with the edibles with the samples and stuff and yeah dude i'd just be munching on all that right when i get there yeah. like i'll take it all thank you <laughs> yes please oh man i love edibles yeah hell yeah. yeah and then it hits you like towards the end and you're wobbling out the door but it's fun mm -hmm. like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah duh. i just got an email and there's 77 competitors in this dgc cup so I mean, oh, there yeah? are a lot of people. Yep. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. I doubt that anybody can make it through and taste seventy-seven strains in seven hours. Yeah. You know, yeah, super that'd be track. Do man. A lot of them, like if uh, if they're like doing the competitions, they're supposed to like smell coffee in between, or that's like they're like they're smelling. Oh, to kind of cleanse the palate, as they say. Something like that. They you know they normally have to like neutralize it somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember what. What podcast or something I was watching the day they're talking about that. Uh, that they, yeah, I think it's James Loud. I think they're on a James Loud podcast. They're talking about how they had the you know smell coffee in between each strain. I mean, it, it makes sense because yeah, you, yeah, you gotta, you gotta you, your nose yeah. has got to get a change of scent, but in between, yeah. Well, they're talking about people have actually smelt so much like over and over again in the day that their nose gets raw, that they get like a a, a nostril burn or something from smelling. Really? Her, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure it was on his last episode that he they were talking about. They were going back and forth, naming strains, blah, 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 blah. And they started talking about it. Uh, yeah, I think it was on his last uh, podcast. But yeah, they're talking about how people, have, you know, you got to neutralize it or whatever. Because yeah, after a while, well, you just get blind to everything. Yeah, huh. I think that I did see somebody walking around with like a bean bag. So maybe it was coffee <laughs> or something last year. Yeah, showing it in everybody's nose. <laughs> yeah, because... I mean, after a little bit, it's it's sight, it's smell, and then maybe the first taste when you, you know the yeah. little hit that you get to take or whatever. But it has nothing to do with the high. <laughs> you know, not you're, you're already high. You're yeah. already there. <laughs> yeah, you're as high as you're gonna get. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got super baked at the VIP place, and then we were baked all day long. You know, Monica yeah. laughed at me. You know, she doesn't smoke at all. She's like the designated 420 queen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so let's talk about how we're getting really close to popping these beans huh yeah, yeah. man we're getting super close we're gonna have to give these uh these seeds away so we can get them All out right. there and uh, yeah so i do have i mean you guys can't see that but you can tell what's in there and <laughs> you know it's uh, there there yeah. is a package you know a collector cap package you know it's got the uh what is that one the crop culture uh pin and then it's got the special collector sticker to go along with it the strain and sticker the strain sticker yeah it's yeah. got a pretty cool gorilla on it oh so, yeah always with the good slaps yeah the slaps are always cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run uh, one of those hashtag giveaways and l knows uh the first word that we're going to hashtag Let's do we're going to use the pgs for the first one uh, so hashtag pgs yeah. hashtag PGS. And it'll get you entered in and in a little bit we'll go ahead and we'll run the drawing so you guys go ahead and get entered we wanted to try to run it by subscribers, but we couldn't find them. So, yeah, <laughs> when I go to look up the subscribers, it's like certain. I guess if you don't have your your subscriptions 
uh, public, then it won't even show me who's who's subscribed. So I couldn't pull everybody's name out and fucking spin the wheel. So we're going to have to go this way. Yeah, well, we've got six entries so far. So let's uh, go ahead and continue. Uh, all those all those names look very familiar, so I'm pretty sure they're they're subscribed all the way. We got Speedy Burst, what's up? Green Year 420, Grow and Grind. Yeah, I was about to say Hazy Susie Scrogger. Sisson Dave, what's going on, guys? E E. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right on. So we are going to be growing the Peonia Glue Skies. And uh Pete can go ahead and tell us a little bit more about it because he's actually Grown it or is currently growing it? Yeah, I got her right now in veg. Um, getting ready here almost about a week or so. So I probably flip to flower. And uh, yeah, it was a gifted cut from Chris himself. I think he re vegged it from flower. Uh, and yeah, it came in, uh, put it in. A, I did a started with a solo cup. Yeah. And then uh, I believe the transplant day, let me just go back. I think it was February 3rd. So it's been in a, uh, I use fabric pots. It's like a five gallon, but I put his, that thing to the max. So it's got about seven gallons in there right now. Yeah. And yeah, since two, three, it's been going in there. I got it in a uh, 40 inch by 40 inch tent with uh, three other plants. And uh, it's just been thriving, you know, uh, healthy, green, growing. It's probably the tallest of the bunch. Um, if you want, I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, take a, oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah. We're gonna take a look at the tent. Don't mind the one in the front right. Don't even look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at right now. I'm waiting. <laughs> no, okay. So right here, uh, that one is the Gary Poppins from Exotic Genetics. But over here, we got your. Uh, I think you got it right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's the Peonia, uh, Peonia Glue Skies. Uh, that's Chris's cut. I did feed her a little bit this earlier today. Um, like I said, I'm kind of noticing she doesn't need as much water so I, I i gotta find that right balance before she was she was thriving like with how i was watering but i had a little bit of an issue with the one that i don't want to talk about so we had to adjust the feeding and everybody had to be you know dealt with the same um sop on that so you know we're kind of bouncing back but uh, you know we're ready here to go ahead and uh you know flip it here in the next week or two uh but so as gonna... you Sorry, you're gonna you're gonna flip around the time we're germinating. Yeah, probably. Yeah, sounds about right. So if you want, we'll go ahead and look here at the bottom. You know, the stocks ain't too big. Um, I did want to do it a little bit thicker, uh, but also uh, when I do it a little bit longer, it gets too bushy in, in this time yeah. because of my uh, space restrictions. So just kind of working with my space and uh, what I got here, and and every time you know. You go through a grow it's a learning experience so you know yeah. tweaking this one and kind of just going a little bit shorter uh to the right here i got a trop cherries number eight that chris also gifted me dude's a hell of a guy oh, that uh, must look, be, uh, elite cut genetics it, it certainly is it yeah, certainly I, I, is I, yeah. yeah so they they're just you know doing wonderful um you know i like to uh as you can see i got the trainers on there uh some butt clips the butt trainers or whatever yeah, I saw uh, you, you train very similar to the way I do. Right. So I try to ma maximize the tent as best as I can. And, um, yeah, so we're going to probably flip here in a little bit. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much bending or whatnot. I do. I'm learning a little bit of the Kyle Cushman chiropractic stuff, so I might actually implement that here. Um, I did it on the last one too much because it was just too busy. But uh, yeah, she's been good. Um, I remember when uh, Chris gave me some buds, they were fire. Uh, the bud structure, just, you know, exactly what you're looking for. You know, nice fat nugs, very colorful, very vibrant. Um, trichomes were just coated everywhere. And it, if I remember correctly, you know, that gassy, you know, earthy, old school type of you know, turp and, and, yeah. and high and everything like that. Yeah. It just, you know, brings you back a little bit. Um, so I'm excited to see how I turn her out here. And uh, my brother just took a bunch of cuts. I think he took five total. Chris said he needed two. So I was like, no doubt. I'll let him know right now because he's doing it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're going to give Chris two back. Uh, the three here will be, you know, we'll keep them in the garden. Uh, you know, because of space, I don't really have mothers per se. I just kind of 
we keep cloning and cloning and cloning and keeping oh, the genetics yeah, okay. going, you know. So that's kind of how we do it. Uh, and it's worked, you know. I've got uh, strains from the exotic genetics from uh, the Rainbow Chip line that uh, we've been running since then. And uh, I think, honestly, the best weed now, I've finally reached the best that I've ever grown it. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it does, I don't think there's an issue with how we're doing it, you know, as, as opposed to running mothers, but that's kind of what we have to do with our space and everything. Yeah. I, I noticed that we all have a tendency of running out of space. I have so <laughs> many genetics that I want to run, but I cannot, I just don't have the space. And I mean, I don't have people coming in counting my plants, but there is a Colorado plant count. So yeah. I'm yeah. kind of trying to stay within the limits a little bit, but it's uh, it's cool that you can uh, keep on cloning and then you know exactly what you're going to get compared to popping beans. Right. And, you know, my brother is a great cloner. So shout out to him for constantly being on point and keeping that to like high 90, you know, 100 percent rate, you know, so always coming out better and better every time. And, you know, shout out to AC Infinity for that dome with the light on it. That, that helped us a little bit. Oh yeah, the, oh, that the new one. Dome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ours was old, you know. What was it? Yeah, four years running now with a dome. You know, that Thank shit you. gets moldy or whatever you yeah, want to yeah. call it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All that algae buildup. Yeah, I've got a little one that came from Timu, and we spent like twelve bucks on it. And my girl still won't let me get the AC Infinity one because this one worked. <laughs> you know, I have seedlings in a day or two that are up to the dome inside of it. And she goes, see, now it's solo cup ready. You yeah, don't need yeah. AC infinity. I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't even pH, but I've got the crop culture box with the pH. Pen. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that pen is money, by the way. I got the same one. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't used it yet. I, I, I'm still using my Apera, but I, I got to use it and test it out. You got the Apera. You got the exact same one then. Yeah, it's it's the exact same thing. It's so funny. I look at them like, dude, they're identical. Yeah, yeah I've got one that's tip like... and stuff, right? You like uh -huh. take off the tip, like the 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 new AC Infinity one. Has yeah, I think it, tips and stuff. I think you right? can swap the tip out or replace. Yeah. I got it right here. Actually, it's right behind me. So it's just the plastic guard, so that you can get down to the glass. Yeah, is what the removable part is. But that, yeah, that's the one. And hold on a sec. This, who is this that I have? Yeah, the Apera yeah. is that the one? Yeah, that you see, guys that's have? the one that I got. Yeah, the Apera. It's yeah. the same thing, just different yeah, color yeah. scheme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> same <laughs> shit. Yeah, I spent like seventy-five bucks or whatever on this one, and it came with the carry kit and the tester kit and all that crap. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I started using recharge, and I could just throw it over my shoulder. I don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't bring myself. Who to hit do me it. with the salt shaker? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't pH at all. I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm a little curious to find out what my water is because it's been quite a while, but I don't pH at all. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Pete? Uh, I do. Yeah. So I, I actually run uh, culture biologics. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Uh, he ended up coming up with a little line after um, he was doing his instant teas, which uh, it was typically run with like the nectar line. If you're familiar with nectar for the gods. Yes. And, oh Yeah. yeah. And then he had the instant teas and I used to watch the OCG fam show. So that's how I, you know, started with nectar. And then that's how I started with learning how to grow. That was like my resource back then. And then, uh, finally he came out with a line and I, I picked it up. It's a organic, uh, carbon based dry powder line. And I, I got stocked up on it. And, uh, unfortunately he had to close down operations. I, I don't know if he's going to get back going or what, but it's been solid. And I keep it at that 6.7 range, like right there. Uh, 6.5 to 7 is what he recommends. And I know the nectar line was also in like that 6.2 to 6.8 range. So yeah, I have to, I have to pH and I use the tap water. I still haven't upgraded to an RO system or anything like that. So yeah, I, I do I tap water and just let it dechlorinate and then, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, I do buckets. So I just put my, you know, put my nutrients in there and pH down too. That's yeah. What I do. Yeah. I put it in the bucket too and let it dechlorinate as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you, yeah, if you're using just straight tap water, that's that's the best way to do it if you're mm -hmm. using tap water. Yeah, I I have buckets sit, and I would imagine that the pH rises pretty good in the sitting bucket, you know, in my reservoir. But 
I don't even check. Maybe I'll just experiment and find out what it looks like so I could scare you guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You're gonna be about to kill your plants, dude. Don't do it. You know what's funny yeah. is I actually pH'd water and then you know I'll let it sit overnight thinking it's pH and have it ready to go. Uh, and then I actually checked one time and then I was like, Oh, apparently that doesn't work like that. No, it goes yeah, back yeah, to yeah. normal. Yeah, I yeah, did the same thing my first time. Again. I was like, I mean, I was gonna prep all these. You know, I'm just have them all ready so I can just mm -hmm. you know dunk a dunk something in there and go. But yeah, it, it loses all overnight. So yeah, pH it right before you use it. Exactly. I had I had a 27 gallon tote that I had filled with water and I had air stones running in it. And I would grab my water that I needed out of there and it would be through the roof. You know, you're running so much atmosphere through that water and changing the pH. So it always felt like I was chasing the dragon until I did the research and then found out what, what pH actually is and how it changes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, learning, learning about stuff. But yeah, like I said, my next step, one of my next steps, like I said, I'm, I'm interested in, uh, you know, Chris's method. But I mean, you know, I still want, you know, just learn soil science. You know what I'm saying? Just go back to that. Like I said, I still run soil here, but yeah, I've been doing mainly buckets. But yeah, I'm, you know, I'll probably drop back at one point and just start learning soil. You know what I'm saying? I, at one point, yeah. I do. I want to learn living soil. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of creeping with that too, with the build of soil. Um, I just yeah. picked up some of the build the soil agile uh, 16, the potassium silicate to kind of supplement. And I do got a tent right now. If you guys want to see the flower tent, I'm using the light recipe and then I'm using my little method. But if you guys want to check out the flower tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. for sure. I actually got a cut from Chris, the um, Flurricane number seven, uh, the in-house cut that he got from Elite. So I got that right now. I got the leprechaun trap that I've been going from uh, Exotic. And then I've got a haterade that is from a person who probably got his own beans, but it was originally a uh, goat genetics. I know some of us are growing goat. And then this last one, which is my problem child, not because of anything, but uh, it's probably a 10 to 12 weeker. Uh, it's from a local guy in 10 genetics called Laughing Lizard. So here we go. So right there, we got the leprechaun. Yeah. I think we're on day 37. And then over here, we got the Haterade. And then nice. next, we got the Slurricane, the Chris's uh, gifted cut that he gave me. Nice. This one is Frosty. Um, yeah, she's, she's probably the the winner of the bunch right here, even though leprechauns might go too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a good frost on that one. And then this one, um, you could tell it's like lagging behind because it's probably a 12, 10 to 12 weeker, which I'll figure out what I got to do here. Cause I'm probably going to cut the rust around 63. This is, I think a Bruce banner cross with pink animal crackers, uh, cross. Wow. And then nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got the uh, build of soil. So this one, I got the stocks nice and thick. I oh, really, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah this yeah, one. Yeah. Nice. That's like a thumb. Yeah, they're they're really thick. Even yeah. the manifold on this uh, haterade is impressive Dang. for me. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big And thing. then last one's the slurricane. So I yeah. did, you know, I vegged it for a while. I don't know how long it was because I was waiting for... Uh, all the cuts to get taken and then then we can you know go ahead and move on with flowers so that's why we ended up vegging for so long but hey you saw those stocks but then yeah. it's a little it's a little bushy in there so like every time we defolded that motherfucker was already back in order within like a day i don't know you know how it goes <laughs> yeah. and then it, it's just tough to maintain with the lollipopping and and all that especially that uh intent genetics one was real bushy so it's like even today I, like i don't like to go past 21 when it comes to defoliation but it's it got to the point where it's like man this is this is needed to get the sun in there you know what i mean yeah you have yeah. to yeah. yes so that's the flower tent nice wow. everything looking good man appreciate everything it looking good no yeah that's where i'm at like 21 days is where i you know will do you know, a defoliation or so will be the last one or something. Uh, maybe 25, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I try not to pass, you know, 
go past that too. But yeah, you got those strains, man. There ain't nothing you can do. You, you, yeah, you, you just gotta stay on top of it no matter what through through flower all the way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm I met the guy. Way. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead Pete. Yeah. So I met the breeder at the uh, my first event that I actually went to in October. In um, I think it was uh, the the little bean uh, farmers market that was outdoors, and um, he, he told me how that cross was like his go-to everybody like kept going to that jar right and he had ran out of that one first so i was like okay i'm gonna go pop it this week you know and that was also the same day that uh, i met uh jim from all things cannabis.net that gifted me those beans of the haterade so i'm like okay i'm gonna go pop it you know immediately and then and then chris is like hey i got a, a cut for you you're gonna love it it's slurry cane number seven and i'm like please i need it yes and you know like man this community is something else i tell you so yeah 100%. um you know i'm not saying like the strain's bad or anything it's just it doesn't flow with with the 63 dayers that i'm yeah, gonna cut, yeah, you know yeah. so i gotta figure out uh what i gotta do now when i'm gonna cut those and i don't know because i like to dry in my same in the same tense Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm running in the same situation. We've got the uh, two testers in with uh, Moe's tent with the uh, purple goat cheese. And those are fast photo periods. And they're going to be done two weeks before the other ones. So I had to find another location. We have to send up, set up another two by four with a carbon filter and everything and dry in another tent so that I can finish these ones off. Yeah. So you're telling me I need to go buy another tent. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> five by five. No, okay. Let me tell you what I did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're not going to dry that amount of uh, flour in a two by four tent. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was literally thinking before the show, I was like looking in my uh, basement because like, you know, we grow in the basement, but like we also chill in the basement, like a bad cave kind of situation. And uh, we don't want to like sacrifice the space. And I'm just looking at the wall. I'm like, I think a five by five can fit here. Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, can yeah. make it work, you know, like, yeah. oh man, just, you know, the devil and then, the, you know, the angel and the devil. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I've got a four by four set up next to a two by four. And I'm like, there's a foot there. I can get this a little bigger, you know, there's room for that. Yeah. <laughs> there's more, there's then, room for activities. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. And then I just, I opened up the closet and it's, perfect for my hlg light that just fit right in there hanging from the coat rack and i'm like yeah. See, here we go we're ready to go yeah again. yeah yeah you rock hlg too yeah i do i've got the hlg 350 diablos and then uh i got the 320r when i took third place last year nice so, nice uh the 320r is more auto flower or for flower time but that 350r rocks really That's, okay yeah I'm running the 350R in my 4x4. It's designed for a 3x5 spread, but it's working pretty well in the 4x4. Nice. I got the uh, 600 in the tent that you guys just saw. And then uh, in the one that the uh, Peonia is in, it's got the HLG 700. Wow, you're rocking some wattage there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and only a 40 inch by 40 inch. I don't know if it's uh, you know, meant to be, but uh, hey, you know, let's rock. Yeah, it's doing it the work, trick, huh? Uh, everything looked happy, sir. Yeah, By yeah, far, yeah. It looked, happy, it looked yeah. really good. Thank you. All right, so should we roll? And, yeah, let, uh, me, let me bring this thing back up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And now I think I just hit the draw. Let's see. All right, good luck. I should have added some music. Can I add music in here? I don't know. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Growing Growing right. Right. Up, Congrats, growing Congrats, man. Man. Congratulations. Right. So what you guys need to do as a winner is just contact us through the email, see the harvest podcast at gmail.com. Yay. Congratulations. And then I'm going to choose one more. We wanted to do Heisenterp, correct? Yes, sir. Congratulations, everybody. Congrats, congrats. And start collecting. All right. All right. So Long the new word. Heisenterp. Heisenterp. Hashtag Heisenterp. 
So, Pete, you want to tell us how where you guys got your name from and uh, how you guys got started? Yeah, so originally, uh, back in 2020, uh, when I started the IG, we were Shy Buds with a Z underscore 710 underscore, and it was originally kind of just supposed to be like a grow journal kind of diary. I uh, didn't really think I was going to do anything with it other than, you know, just a hobby to take pictures and videos. And then, obviously, since kind of going more into the cannabis community here in Illinois, I felt like we needed to change it up a bit, you know, just kind of from inspiration from everybody else. And, um, you know, my brother and I, we, we watch a lot of movies and TV and uh, Breaking Bad being one of those, uh, one of the top five shows for us, probably. Absolutely. You know, I just, yeah. So I just, you know, kind of did a little twist, you know, Heisenberg, Heisen Terp, you know, kind of like we're the Heisen Terp or Heisenberg of Terps. And, uh, yeah. You know, I just I, I liked it, and uh, when I kicked it off to some of the people, they they also liked it, so I just stuck with it and felt like we should kind of rebrand ourselves and went with it. It works, man. I like it. I like oh, it. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, has a good ring to it. Real good ring to it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it, her brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Our paths hadn't crossed, and then I looked you up on Instagram, and it's you're doing good things. And thank uh, you. It was a uh, really really good to see that you reached out that was fun yeah yeah i'm glad to have you yeah i like what you guys are doing and um yeah i want to see more of it and uh, of course since you guys uh you know have the peonia and i got the cut already going i guess i got the loan cut right now um yeah i figured it worked out yeah, yeah it worked out perfect yeah and i mean i don't know how many uh testers chris is gonna have because uh, I don't know. No one's written in to tell us if they're going to be growing with us or not. So I'll be looking forward to seeing how many people are actually going to pop them with us. I threw Speedy some. I think he's here in the chat too. Yeah, I've, I've, got a, I've gotten a few comments. I think he says I'll oh. pop them on time. So I told you him they really have some people down. joining in. Yeah. But it'll definitely be super exciting. So we're going to yeah, do it live. Fun. Hopefully you guys can tune in when we do do it live. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so sure, germination sure. day will be uh april 1st correct we still haven't figured out a time but it'll be in the evening time yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll let you guys know uh, yeah 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 he says he's time. growing yeah drop in the chat right now if, you, if you're here if you're growing with us and you think you're gonna be able to make that date like i said speedy said he's gonna do it uh let you know let us know i just i haven't seen too many people i think somebody else hit me on instagram saying they were gonna do it uh vixen yeah. vixen grows got hers and uh there was a couple other people okay i know yeah, green yeah. here's got some i don't know if he's got room or not but he's got some okay and then I think that second cut winners. is going to a friend yeah <laughs> and yeah whoever wins here hopefully y'all can get in on it may 1st like i said hey if you're a week behind two weeks behind <laughs> i mean you know how you know, yeah, that, man. that dude's a couple weeks uh, above us. So, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, we're, everybody <laughs> yeah, he's going to be in you. flower when we're germinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, everybody will be at different steps. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all good. But, yeah, it'd be, yeah. you know, the more we get at May 1st, it'd be cool. <laughs> we can get we can get views of every stage <clears throat> in the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got to wait two weeks content. before uh, I can move into the tent. So yeah. once I get into the tent, that's going to be dedicated to the crop culture and the peonia blue skies. Yeah. But yeah. really proud to, proud to be able to do this, hang out with you all. Uh, the community is rocking. Uh, more and more people that can join us and that wants to tune in and subscribe and uh, let us know. So uh, what do you uh, grow in? What size pots, Pete? What uh, dirt? Yeah, so they're they're in fabric pots. Uh, the both my uh, bigger tents they are in five gallons, but I max them out to about seven gallons in there. You know, using like you know the one gallon, um, using these. You know what I mean? So right. I get about seven in there, and then um, so in the tent right now with the peonia, I got some uh, reused roots organic. And then uh, the one that I showed you that's in flower right now, that one, I this is my first run using Build a Soil Light Recipe. Um, and then I'm going to reuse that as well. And then basically, like all my clones right now, probably have either Build a Soil or Roots Organics that's been reused. 
Um, same thing with uh, this tent over here to the right that I got in veg of uh, some other stuff. Um, they're in probably Roots Organics as well. But I, I plan on doing some garden stuff outside and uh, just regular gardening and uh, probably going to use some build a soil 3.0 out there and stuff, whatever, you know, whatever other stuff I got here. Hell yeah. Yeah, build that uh, build build soil. Soil. yeah, the build a soil blend is really good. The first time that we did tomatoes in a tent and people were like, you're not doing tomatoes in a tent. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. You know, and so we use that 2.0 blend. And I mean, it rocked. Yeah. You know, we use the little grow grow box juniors, and they rocked in that tent. Cool. Yeah, a lot but, of people here they use that earth box here with the build of soil, and they they swear by it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, set it and forget it, and then you know, check it out every couple of days and see if it needs water. I mean, that's that's the way that I grow. <laughs> you yeah. know, the the real buckets check the reservoir every couple of days. Oh. And then just fill the reservoir. I don't even have to open up the tent if I don't want to. I mean, go in there and check the leaves and stuff like that, but not as much as I would normally have to by hand watering. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like the hand watering. I enjoy it. But, I, I mean, I'm, I'm in there all the time anyway, so what the fuck? But, <laughs> I agree. It's therapeutic. I, yeah. I had the, the goats on that self-watering base, and the, I, I was relying on that stupid fucking float valve. And it was telling me it was full. And then I went, it's like the third day. I'm going, how is that fucker still full? And this fucking thing's falling apart on me. And sure enough, oh, no. they had no water in it, man. Really? Oh, no. So now I just, I took the top off and I just, I'm using it as a, a catch for the runoff. So I'm just top watering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> like, fuck it, I ain't relying on that thing no more. Yeah. As long as it serves a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, just don't throw it away. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use it for something, you know. To, yeah, yeah. To catch for the fucking for the runoff now, for sure. <laughs> no, I got a, a, a seven gallon um, bud trainer pot, and I don't have any of those little dishes that fit the seven gallon thing to catch the runoff. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I'll just use that. Because those have a pretty big base, don't they? The seven yeah. gallon ones. Yeah, it's got a pretty big footprint. So, yeah. it takes up most of that that two by four like I, I i had to squeeze another one in there that i'm running for uh for um smashy 805 i had to squeeze that one in there and that's in like a little three gallon so, so you've got one seven gallon and then one three gallon and then two by four tent in the two by two or the two by two oh yeah man. yeah yeah the two by yeah. four is packed full but by the time the uh the pgs is ready for for big pots, my my AQs will be out of there, and the uh, rock bud will be out of there. So I'll have three pots out of there. So the timing's going to work out in your garden too. Yeah, it'll it'll work out perfectly. Good, good, good. Hopefully, if not, then I'll figure it out at that point. Yeah, but see, I got my veg area and I got my flower tent behind me, so I already got space for the 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 ones we're running. So I'm already you know. All I'm doing now, I, we need to hurry up and pop them so I can, you know, hurry up and get them in there. I'm, I got wasted space right now, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was going to do that. I was thinking about, you know, doing stuff. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't. I was actually about to pop some, drop some beans right before we decided to do all this. And there were going to be photo periods. So I really would have been, you know, deciding what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what to do. I mean, luckily here, I can just throw them outside and hopefully they'll survive. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it worked out, you know, because yeah. I'm starting the other, the ICAN project too, with running all the ICAN. Yeah, yeah, uh, running all his stuff too. I see yeah, you got some nutrients going. Uh, he just posted some some nutrients I think he's doing, right? Yeah, so it's organic, uh, organic dry amendment nutrients, and it'll run the whole the whole way, you know. It's got the veg and then the big bloom. Yeah, I just and, saw the uh, post this, uh, this afternoon, like right before we came on here. I was on Instagram yeah. scrolling. I saw it. Super I missed it. So you're gonna run some of his uh, his organics. I they need to come pretty soon. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. nice. They're they're gonna be on their way. So we're yeah. running that, and then we're running the food. So awesome. I just have to make sure that I keep them separate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever done that? Running different nutrients and then water it the wrong way. I, no, I, I haven't watered it the wrong way, but I have done the running separate nutrients. 
I was uh, running dry amendments in one pot, and then we were wa top watering with the liquid nutrients, and then I hit the wrong pot, and then I had started to amend, and neither one of those plants liked, <laughs> liked it. They didn't like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they survived, though? Uh, they no. didn't produce very well. Yeah, no, okay. they were not impressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you, you killed them. Fuck oh, around and find out, huh? <laughs> I found out the hard way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any disasters in your garden, Pete? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we've had a couple. Um, let's see. So, yeah, starting out using Fox Farm is probably a disaster. Um, you know, we just used the trio and smoking mids, I guess you can say, uh, for the long time. And then we had one time where we had spider mites. Um, don't ever work in the garden and then uh, bring your, yourself into the garden, you know, yeah. like outside in the garden. Yeah, go inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think my brother did that after, you know, cutting the grass or something. And then uh, eventually we got some spider mites. So we had to deal with that one time. And other than that, you know, uh, nothing major since then. You know, I, I'm dealing with uh, one issue right now with some thrips. So dealing with that and uh, I, I'm pretty much done with it, I guess. I'm just kind of just, you know, being cautious and just, you yeah. know, waiting for like the yeah. right moment to take off the diatomaceous earth. Shout out to Chris for help, helping me with that. And, um, you know, we'll move on. That's another learning experience. Um, but other than that, like, you know, some fungus gnats here and there, but can't complain about those. You know, it comes with the territory when soil, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I got a question that, about the diatomaceous earth. Um, <laughs> So I just started using it and I'm, I'm just applying it on top dry for a fungus gnat issue to, to take care of the fungus gnat larva. Is that the proper way to do it? Because I, I, this is my first time using it, so I'm not really familiar with it. I've just been kind of watching other people's feeds and seeing what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually don't really know myself. I just kind of went with what uh, Chris told me to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he, he literally, I got, I wrote it on the phone, so I can't really do it right now, but it yeah, was like, yeah. yeah, take out the soil about like, you know, dug about two inches or so. And then he's like, replace the soil. And then he's like, put diatomaceous earth on top. He's like, put a thick layer, like a thick layer. And I was like, all right, got you. I'm done. And he's like, I want you to bottom feed. And I was like, all right, done. And then that's what I did, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I, I, I didn't do the taking soil out and then putting new soil. I just fucking caked the shit on top. To hopefully right. Off right. So originally so I was using, I have um, from the culture that he gave me with that stuff. It was a fungicide that he had called rupture or wrap. I think it was rupture. Right. Yeah. And I saw some, it's, it's funny how it works, right? With the cannabis community on Instagram or even like uh, YouTube with the content that everybody in yourselves post, but like, you know, I have my problem and what happens? I scroll through and this guy's posting how he's got, you know, the same bottle. And I'm like, Hey, you know, have you used this? Like, does it help with thrifts? And he's like, yes, boom, 40 mil, you know, gallon, you know, do the, you know, your IPM foliar and then drench, you know, this mount. And I, you know, I did it for almost a month and yeah. then I'm just like, you know, I still think it's just not happy, you know, like Chris, what, what's going on here? Like it's coming <laughs> back, but it's not like back yet, you know, like everybody else is ready to go, you know, and I, I don't know what to do here. And yeah, that's when he told me to do that. But, you know, I still do the foliar spray as well, just in case. But uh, it yeah. looks like we're good to go. I'm just going to give it a couple more days and I'm going to take out that thick layer of diatomaceous earth and, and start going to town on uh, trying to, you know, get as much growth back until we flip her. And, you know, it is what it is, but we got cuts of uh, that plant. And, uh, you know, I'm not worried about going forward with those cuts, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm curious, not the right person. I, I didn't know if I was doing it properly or not but i was just like fuck it i'm just gonna put a layer down and because i've i've been told or heard probably seen a video or something where it's it just kills the the fucking larva so then you that's the these fuck and so far it's it's been doing pretty good i haven't seen a shit ton coming out so right stay tuned i guess we'll, we'll you find probably out. did it you probably <laughs> did what you needed to do with it yeah yeah if not then all my plants are dead. <laughs> so you're going to pull that out and then re-amend the soil on top after you pull out that device? So well, I'm, I'm just bottom. Just I'm just going to bottom water fucking because for now, you know, and then I, I guess I'll have to scrape that shit off the top if I go to fucking top water again. Because I've just got it in the um, in the two by two with the the goats and then the the fucking treasure F2. 
So. And that's coming from you guys, from you using soil? Is that? I guess, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. It's my first time having this issue with the fungus gnats inside. I've, I've had them outside, but not inside. Right. Oh, so. yeah. Typically, I get it from, like, the soil when I get it. And it's probably from, you know, the grow shop or whatever else, you know, yeah. that you get it from. Yeah, this know. this usually I use can of cocoa, but this stuff I just got at the the local um, fucking nursery, and they have it just out in their warehouse area, sitting in fucking. So I'm sure it, it probably came from that, you know. The good ones spray every so often. The good shops. Yeah, it's a small town. I don't know how good this one is. <laughs> yeah. I, I was using mosquito bits in my water for a while. Normal G. Yeah. That, that helps, but. uh Actually, that 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 new um, what the hell is it called? Crop Defender. Uh, oh yeah, actually, dude, man, I uh, I didn't know you could pour that in your water and use it and kill. Yeah, you can use it as a soil drench. Yeah, dude, man, I did that last time. I had them bad in my my tent, my flower tent, and uh, I was uh, doing the mosquito uh, bits to try it, to you know get ahead of it. I was like, yeah. something my five gallon, but you know, everything had mosquito bits in it. The bot, you know, the the bottom trays, that you know, the reservoirs on top, <laughs> I had it all in the dirt, uh, and it was, you know, I just couldn't get over that hump. You know, it, it, they would die down, but then you know they'd pop back up. Uh, but man, I put some of that. I put, I, I, I did whatever the you know the the thing said, like a couple mil, milliliters in a gallon, and then watered all of them. Pff, next day, they were dead, man. Yeah, yeah. that stuff worked pretty good too. Yeah, I, I tried that stuff, but I, I tried it outside, and I must have had just too much of an issue. It didn't fucking didn't do anything. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, but it was outside, so yeah, fucking bugs galore out there. I'm sure it was just too heavy of a fucking issue. So yeah, or I didn't use enough. Maybe I, I don't know. No, yeah, I, I just I mixed up right whatever it said on the back of that thing, and then yeah, it, yeah. it worked for me. But my yeah, mine was indoors. I was, I was actually at the time I was uh, it was cool weather, so I was trying to save energy on my my. My AC and everything, so I was like, yeah, popping all the windows open and everything. <laughs> yeah. and I walk in, all these bugs there. I was like, oh hell, you know what I'm saying? But that's the way it goes. Yeah, we're we're having think? right now. We're having a huge issue with with um, house flies. So it, if I have the yeah. doors open, the fucking there's just house flies everywhere. Oh yeah, over here too. Yeah, they're just yeah, Ridiculous. it's that time. They're trying to like fly. I, they're they're flying around here right now. I see every yeah. once in a while. It's like shoo, fucking house fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I asked you guys about that IPM because I don't have to do that. I yeah. just, I've been lucky, you know. I just I know not to be around my roses and then come into my garden because I've already been through the thrip issue. Luckily, it was when I first got started, so I mean I didn't know how to grow good weed in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but now that I know, and then I just I'm I'm a little bit more careful, but not as cautious as like a clean room and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I just. But I grow with cocoa, worm castings, and pumice, so there's not really anything to be able to be brought in because that. Oh, that's exactly what I use too. I just use the the cocoa, the vermibec, and then pumice stones. Right. So, so I just, I guess I've been lucky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody around here, as soon as we, I tell everybody, as soon as we do yard work, uh, strip down, go shower, go shower. <laughs> shower. Down, down. My boy, yeah, on, hey, yeah. we had stuff. I was like, take that stuff off, go shower. You know that I'd be much appreciated. Because <laughs> <That's laughs> you'll be bringing in bugs, man. All right, we should run another giveaway. Yeah, so yeah, we, we should yeah, get yeah, all yeah, three in. Uh, hey, yep. Oh. Got twelve entries. Got nine people in here. Twelve entries. All right, let's see. Oh, I see bunnies in there. Yeah, yeah. Saul, all right. It's all good, man. What's going on? Congratulations. Eyes and turban, Saul. (laughs) Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Saul's a good dude. I always see him in chats everywhere. You're now the proud owner of the next Paonia Blue Skies. All right. You got to be able to germinate him, Tom, Saul? You hitting May 1st? Let us know. Congratulations, yeah. So go ahead and email us. That's uh, seedtoharvest at gmail.com and let us know that you're the winner. It's, uh, I can get them in the mail as soon as Monday. So let me know. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to add crop culture for this one. So hashtag crop culture hashtag for the last, last edition. 
of this that we have. And it's a go. All right, all right. So that's hashtag yeah, drop culture. Run that one right before we finish. Yeah. So y'all get on it. Get on it. Let's see it. Congratulations and good luck to the last winner. Awesome. Yeah, I think I just followed Saul. I think we were, uh, I just seen him on uh, Instagram. I, I, I've been seeing him in all these lives and stuff too. So, because I'm in the, the YouTube lives all the time. Yeah, no, I see him on uh, all the YouTube lives. I don't know if I'm Yeah, yeah, he's always in there. Hey, so, so yeah, awesome. if, you ain't following, if you ain't following each other on Instagram, hit me up. Let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll follow you back, dude. Yeah, I think it was him who I followed yesterday, but it may have been someone else. So yeah. reach out if it was not, and I will follow you if I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Comes for me as well. Anorado Chris on Instagram. Reach out. We'll uh, check you guys out. So yeah, my uh I thought my foot was gonna come yesterday, but it never did. So maybe it'll it'll pop up today. I saw I saw the track and I think it mine's coming Monday. I, that's what it said for me. Monday. It here Monday, yep. Yep, yep. And my think uh I think it says uh the post office. Mine says U uh USPS. That should be oh, really? oh, yeah, maybe they just UPS. Mine UPS. or maybe yeah, I'm yeah. completely wrong and it was USPS and I uh, yeah, no, I think crazy. I think it might be I think that's what mine said was the USPS. <laughs> Which I yeah, like and I more prefer that over UPS. They suck. So more likely for it not to get destroyed before it gets to your house. Yes, yes. They, they you can send it FedEx and it through the mail. Whatever UPS sucks every time. I get. Yeah, I've worked for UPS mail. and I know how I know how it is working for them. So I can see how their their employees would be carefree and careless. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you get paid sure. shit and you work shit hours and then you're sweating. No, all yeah, night. yeah, yeah, yeah. You treat Ridiculous. your employees like shopping. Yeah, I've been that. That uh, that same situation. I had a pretty bad attitude too. So you know, what I'm <laughs> yep. you know what I'm I, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I just have a bad attitude when I get my yeah. my nutrients aren't showing up. You know what I'm saying? When it is an A and a B, I need A and B. I don't yeah. need you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I just get the B part, it don't work, brother. That ain't good. So, big uh, little work behind the scenes, and uh, we hooked up with Foop, and uh, they're. Uh, you know, supporting us out in the community. So you guys can use Seed to Harvest at checkout for 10% off of your order. Nice. For the foopsters. Yep. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to try it for the first time. It's going to be fun. Yeah, not, so I think it, what uh, I'm going to do is, is, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half of my, uh, like exactly like you were saying, I'm doing half of the PGS with my Green Rush, and then I'm going to do the other half with the foop. See yeah. if I don't fuck this up. <laughs> so it's a real simple A and B with a sweetener, and yeah. it ramps up, and then you switch over to the A and B with the flour, and then it ramps up a little bit more with the sweet sweetener, and then you just start tapering off, and uh, you run the nutrient all the way to the end. No need for flushing or anything. You know, you're just feeding the organic soil. Yeah, yeah. You're starting yeah. to cut it back, cut it back. Uh, I stopped using recharge the last two weeks uh, before we're going to cut too. just let all that microbial life start to die off and get get some of the colors. Yeah, the yeah. ones I plan on uh, running in the soil, I'm going to use the, the food nutrients for. So, Boop. Boop. I just like yeah, the name. No. Boop. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mo runs around saying the fish poops all the time, and people look at her like she's out of her mind. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, it works. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's getting great results, man. Both you guys yeah. are. No, yeah, I'm excited to the to, to use it. Like I said, I I ever since I saw it a while back, I've been wanting to, and so here we go. We'll see what happens. And then I also, you know, in the other tent, it's the grow dots in the recharge. You know, I just mix in the grow dots at the beginning, run it four weeks. I think four weeks is just a little too long for a four by four tent. Um, and then flip it to flower. And we're on uh, starting week three. But these guys are super slow. We'll have to wait and see what happens. It's the Westport Posse testers. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these ones just see, seem slow rolling. They're stretching and everything, but I don't have all the pistols and everything that I want yeah. by now. So they're super <laughs> slow. Well, probably 10, 11 weeks, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. a long time for me to have the big tent down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like those you know, almost 12 weekers, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. That's a long time. That's part of being a tester, you know. You never know oh, exactly yeah. how long some of that's going to run. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, how many entries you got on that? that? How many entries you got? <laughs> ten. All right. There's ten. Ten entries. Seventeen of y'all. I'm gonna draw it one more time. So. <clears throat> Good luck. Good luck, everyone. <clears throat> Oh, oh shit. Gronk. All right. Mr. Mr. Gronk. Congratulations. On TV himself. So, yep, Gannick yep, is yep. in Canada, so you're going to have to ship to Canada. But <laughs> I'll I'll talk to um I'll talk to the, the guy that I sent to and see if they made it yet cuz I just sent with stamps and that's the same way for 20 things sent to me and I received my stuff. So, in Canada, we'll make it work. We'll get yeah. it there. I mean, if I have to cool. hey. it around. Hey, maybe that, that'll be cool. Then maybe if, if if he wants to do it, then he can showcase some of his shit on their show and we'll showcase it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're. I think we're yeah, trying right. to maybe hopefully be like a crossover show one day or something, maybe. You know, that'd be cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, so once again, all you winners, go ahead and email us. That's Seed the Harvest Podcast at gmail.com congratulations to all you winners today it's been a really fun fun time yeah yeah hopefully y'all all make the the, the may 1st uh germination date april so, 1st uh, may 1st april 1st right april 1st. uh april 4 yeah april yeah 1st. Okay. <laughs> i was like wait what look, uh, look at the calendar rue look at what? the calendar <laughs> <laughs> right now you know, may, and then uh, set some uh, videos up or something like that uh, for it. You know, April Fourth, Fool's Day. You know, yeah, we're yeah. All, I'm popping the seeds. I'm super stoked about it. This is exciting. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. So before we get out of here, Pete, why don't you tell everybody where to reach you and uh, see what you're doing? Yeah, you can catch me on IG at Heisenterp underscore Brothers. And uh, I'll be posting some of the Peonia glue skies here in a little bit here with uh, some flower photos. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, they'll be nice and chunky for you. Yeah. Cool, cool, That'll cool. be exciting to see some of the flowers while we're, while we're still in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah, it, it takes a while to get to where you're at, so... Uh, yeah, it'll be fun to get the flowers going. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah. So we, we plan on vegging for about three weeks and then flipping the flower. What do you think about that? Yeah, that wouldn't work with my uh, strategy, but that mm -hmm. sounds amazing. Like, yeah, let's get it going. If it, and if it works out where you guys are still pulling out what you need, then that's awesome, you know? Because how long do you actually veg for? Um, you know, it depends. So, like, when we're in flower, it's like those – those flower tents are technically tied up until whenever. So then when we get those freed up, we'll put in like uh, whatever clone that we choose, you know, out of the, the, out of the strains that we have. And then depending on how big they are, you know, it's like, we got to transplant them and then, you know, do that. And then I like to train them so we can scrog out the tent, at, you know, in, in the, in the sense and maximize the space. And so you're, you're you know, in veg for a while. Yeah, like the last one I told you, it was like over a hundred days from transplant, and I don't wow. even know the exact amount. And this one, we we transplanted the peonia on uh, mm -hmm. February third, and what are we at? Yeah, so we're we're almost two months now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it probably in a week, you know, so probably yeah. the end of the month. So, yeah, almost a two month uh, transplanted veg, you know. We're gonna take, see some big, big big flowers. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I hope, but uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The space. Yeah. yeah, you never know. You never know. And you're gonna have a lot of the same size colas because of how you're scrogging it down, right? For your. That's the yeah. That's the hopefully yeah. the goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the other one didn't work that's out right now. Way, I can yeah. see the larf right now just laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, it was good to see you. And yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. all out there, reach out to us and we'll get these uh, beans in the mail. And we're super excited. So next week we'll be rolling up. And on Monday, we'll let you know about the time. And we're going to go live and sprout these seeds. So until next week, guys, stay lifted. Thanks for having me, guys.
Yeah, yeah, thank you. Nice, to, nice to meet you. Yeah, definitely. Likewise. Appreciate everybody in the chat.